Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Badrul Amin bin Muhammad Tarmizi My metric number is 1190573 Today, I would like to present about application of linear transformation in computer science Introduction to linear transformation What is linear transformation? Linear transformation is a function which respects the underlying linear structure of each vector space from one vector space to another often known as a linear operation or map. Linear transformation is one part of linear algebra. Most linear functions can probably be seen in the proper setting as linear transformation. Transformation are linear in the modification of base formulas and most geometric operation are linear transformation, including rotations, reflection and construction or dilations. There are many applications of linear transformation in computer science field, such as computer graphic, quantum computing, and cryptography. Cryptography is the study of secure communication technique that allow only the sender and intended recipient of message to view its content. The term is derived from Greek word cryptos, which means hidden. It is closely associated to encryption, which is the act of scrambling ordinary text into what's known as cipher text, and then back again upon arrival. So here is one of the cryptography method used in encrypting data known as Hill's cipher. The computation used in the Hill cipher is based on linear algebra technique. So now let's see how it works. This is the summary of the stages how the encryption and decryption processes and we will see some example later on so first a metric can be used as a cipher to encrypt a message okay the metric must be invertible to use in decrypting second cipher metric can be as simple as three by three metric composed of random integers third in order to encrypt plain text, each character in the plain text must be denoted with a numerical number, numerical value and placed into a metric. This number can be ranged in value but in the example letter, we will using 1 to 26 to represent A to Z and 27 to represent a space. Okay. And lastly, this metric is then multiplied with the cipher metric to form a new metric containing the cipher text. So let's see the example. First, we obtain a cipher metric and then we use this example, which is penguins are one to one for as our plain text. Okay, now we will replace each letter with its numerical representation using one to 26 for A to Z and 27 for space. After that, we separate the plain text into three by one vectors until the whole plain text, plain text is used. Now we augment these vectors into a plain text metric. And, and then we multiply the plain text metric with the cipher metric to form the encrypted metric. So now we have the newly formed metric that contain the cipher text. And to decrypt the metric back into the plain text, we multiply it by the inverse of the cipher. And after we do that, we will get the plain text, which is penguins are one to one. In computer graphics, we have translation, rotation, scaling, and etc. All these are fine transformation. A fine transformation helps to modify the geometric structure of image, preserving parallelism of lines but not the length and angles. It preserves collinearity and ratios of distance. It is one type of method we can use in machine learning and deep learning for image processing and also for image augmentation. A translation is a function that moves every point with a constant distance in a specific direction. In tensor flow, it is specified as Tx and Ty, which will provide the orientation and the distance. While Rotation is circular transformation around a point or an axis. We can specify the angle of rotation to rotate our image around a point or an axis. Scaling on another part is a linear transformation that enlarge or shrink the object by 
a scale factor that is the same in the all directions. We can specify the value of the SX and SY to enlarge or shrink the image. It is basically zooming in the image or zooming out the image. Also, um, we must note that every linear transformation is a fine, but not every fine transformation is linear. So now I will demonstrate how linear transformation work using a visualizer which can be accessed by anyone. You also could try this by yourself like that. The link is available in the description below. So we have come to the last part of the video. So what is actually quantum computing? Quantum computing is the new computational model based on nature and classical bodies. Where as classical computer, desktop, laptop, work on classical type, work on classical physics. Quantum computing require high dimensional vector space and advanced linear algebra concept like tensor product, decomposition, spread theorem, metric exponential, and etc. Below the linear algebra concept map is the picture of linear algebra in quantum computing. Every computation requires linear algebra stuff, including linear transformation. It is a very complex system where researchers are still in progress to handle quantum computing, and it is still not available for commercial. With quantum computing, many things will change and replace the existing computer system which are using binary system. It will be incredibly fast and we can achieve a lot of things in a second. But we must bear in mind that the advanced the technology goes, the greater the threat will come. That's it for this video. I hope you like the video and please share with your friends so that they will know how much linear transformation or in more general linear algebra contribute a lot to computer science. Thank you for watching and see you guys on the next video.